Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to go over how to start a Facebook ad, how to create it from start to finish. If you've never done a Facebook ad before, uh, this is the video for you. We're going to go step by step how to create Facebook ads, what objectives to do, what actually you should write in your Facebook ad copy, what images, videos, uh, calls to action, everything step by step. All right, guys, so uh, here on the Facebook homepage, how you go and find your ads manager is if you go on the top right here and click on this down arrow, you can go in and see create ads, manage ads. You'll click on that. The other place that you can find that is on the bottom left here. You see ads manager here at some point. Uh, I just typically type in facebook.com slash ads slash manager and it will take me where I want to go. Um, from here, just make sure that you have your correct um, Facebook ad account that you want to use for your ad. I'm going to go and use a test account. And then from here, you can click on create ad here in uh, the center here or click on the create green button here. I'm going to click on this. And here we can find all of our campaign objectives. So if you're looking to do an ad for brand awareness, you just really want to get the word out about your business, uh, you would click on brand awareness here and you can hover over each one of these and see what it's for, right? So increase awareness for your brand by reaching people who are more likely to be interested in it. And just a quick note on Facebook and how Facebook advertising works. All of these objectives are important because Facebook is going to show your ad to uh, people who are likely to do what you want them to do by choosing the these marketing objectives right so if you're going to choose brand awareness Facebook is going to show ads to people who uh, are more interested in that type of thing if you're going to do traffic then Facebook is going to show ads to people who are more likely to click on your ad if you want to if you want more people to comment, like, share your post, then you want to do engagement because Facebook is more likely to show your ads to people who are going to click, like, share, comment on your post, right? So it's really important to choose the right objective. Reach would be, I want to reach the maximum amount of people possible. Again, traffic is uh, just people who are going to click on your posts and go to your website or landing page. Engagement is liking, sharing, commenting on your post. Uh, app installs would be obviously people, if you have a mobile application, people who want to install your application. Video views, if you have a video that you've produced and you want people to watch a certain percentage of your video, then you would, uh, that would be your marketing objective, video views. Lead generation, uh, if you want to generate name, email, phone number, leads, then lead generation would be your best bet. If you want people to message you or your business, you would choose on messages. Conversions is very similar to lead generation. The difference would be um, if you want to have purchases or uh, if you just want to acquire name and email or things like that, you would choose conversions. Uh, and then catalog sales and store visits, uh, you can research those. Those are less likely to be used. Most, mostly people use conversions, traffic, engagement, video views, lead generation, messages. Those are probably the top. Uh, for this video, we're going to choose lead generation because that's what most of you probably are looking to do, whether you have a local business or you are doing ads for other people. So we're going to choose lead. Uh, I like to call these lead forms, so lead form example. And then again, I usually call whatever I have in this bracket, I would call the objective that I have, and then the date. We're going to click continue here. So I've named my campaign. In the ad set level, the ad set level is where you're going to choose your Facebook business page that you want to run ads from. So in this case, I'm going to run it from my uh, personal brand page which is, it's not my personal page, it's my business page, but it's my brand, and, and that just meaning it's my name. 
Uh, and then it's also where you're going to choose your audience, uh, where your ads are being placed, whether it's the Instagram newsfeed, Facebook newsfeed, um, if it's in the messages, if it's in the audience insights, things of that nature. Uh, so here you can see audience. Um, in previous videos, I showed you how to go and use a saved audience. Uh, if you haven't watched that, go and watch that. It makes all of your ad creation so much easier. Uh, but for this video, we're going to go over how to set up your ads. So the first key in targeting is choosing this option. This is going to be chosen by default every single time. Uh, typically, what you want to do is people who live in this location. So for this video, I'm going to go over how to set up a real estate specific ad. Um, but you can also do nationwide ads as well. So again, in this video, I'm going to do a real estate. So I'm going to choose Dallas. I'm going to choose 10 mile radius. Actually, let's do Frisco, which is like North Dallas. A little bit more specific to most people. Right, so uh, I'm choosing first time home buyers. So first time home buyers are probably not 18 years old. They're probably around 27, 28, 29 years old. So I'm going to choose 27. For language, I speak nothing but English. So I'm going to choose English. Uh, and then audience demographics, this is where you can do interest targeting. So people who like ice cream or, or whatever, right? Uh, or demographics. So that would be more like what do people make on a yearly basis? So income um, or uh, are they married or engaged or divorced or whatever? Uh, and then behaviors are things like frequent travelers, things of that nature. So for in interests and demographics and behaviors, uh, for the real estate specific uh, thing, I don't necessarily use a lot of this, but you can also do income targeting. I just want to show you some of these. So nowadays, uh, it's just based on zip codes. So they'll target the top 25 to 50% of incomes uh, based on zip code. So they'll exclude zip codes who have a um, a little bit more of a challenged income, let's say, right? So, um, sorry about that. And then we can choose married, right? So if you type these in, you can see relationship status. Um, let's just do, so for real estate, a lot of people are interested in looking up homes on Zillow, right? So interest would be Zillow. Um, I'm just trying to give you guys, and then if you, if you type something in here, then Facebook will give you suggestions based on what you entered, right? It's pretty cool. So obviously Zillow and Trulia are, are really closely related. You can also browse here, see all the demographics. You can see education, life events, are they parents? Uh, you, can go, you can go way down this rabbit hole, right? So for this video, we're just going to leave this empty. Um, and then editing your placements is where your ad is actually going to be shown, right? So I usually recommend editing the placements. Um, for this, for lead generation campaigns, the only things available are Facebook feeds, instant articles, uh, and you can see what instant articles and in-stream videos, if you hover over each one of these, you'll be able to see what that would look like, which is pretty cool. Um, and then Instagram, if you don't know, Facebook owns Instagram, so they run ads over there as well. Uh, I would highly recommend separating your Facebook ads from your Instagram ads. I recently did a video on Instagram advertising. If you want to go and watch that, I'll link that below as well. For this video, we're just doing Facebook feed and Facebook ads. So we're just going to do Facebook feeds. 99% of the time, I just check on Facebook feeds. Right, scrolling down, we're going to choose our budget. I usually like to start at $10 a day for real estate agents. You can go as low as 5 Usually, they're going to get best results around that $10 to $20 per day range. You can also set a lifetime budget. So say you wanted to run this for a month, and I don't want to spend any more than $500. I can set my budget for $500, and Facebook won't spend more than that. Right? Uh, I'm going to going to choose daily budget. We're going to do $10 a day. Scrolling down here, I wouldn't even mess with this if you're a beginner. 
Um, I don't even mess with this a whole lot with more complex ads. So we're just gonna click on continue. I like to name me, I like to name my ads here. Uh, the objective and um, whatever it is specifically, right? So real estate, copy one, pick one. That's what I would do. Um, scrolling down here, you can choose carousel ads. That's basically multiple pictures with multiple um, buttons. You can choose a single image, or you can actually uh, choose up to six images and do a slideshow, things of that nature. You can do a single video if you have a really good video of a home or, or a video that you created. Uh, or you can do a slideshow, which is essentially more than one picture into, it's kind of like a PowerPoint, how PowerPoints slide in and out. All right, for this video, we're gonna do single image. I'm just gonna choose a stock image. What's really cool is if you don't, if you have a generic ad going and you just want to run a real estate specific and you don't necessarily have a house uh, picture, you can go and choose one of these, which is pretty cool. So we're gonna choose that one. Scrolling down is where you'll actually create your ad, right? So I get questions all the time on what should I have in my ad and um, what should I have in my headline, what should I actually write, should there be links or should there not be? So for this campaign, it's a lead generation or a lead form campaign. I don't put links in my lead generation and lead form ads, conversions, um, traffic objectives would all have links in them. Uh, engagement, sometimes you can have an, a link in the ad copy, sometimes you don't. If you're, if you're running a specific objective, make sure that you're sticking with that objective, right? So if you're running a traffic campaign, which is essentially clicks to website, you want people to click on your link, so you would have a link in your ad copy. Same with conversions, your goal is to get somebody to your landing page and getting a lead or a purchase. So you want to have a link to your to your website, right? Uh, for this, we don't want them to go to our website uh, because I'll show you in a second what they're what they're going to do when they click on this ad. So with real estate, we really have a, a framework that is pretty simple, right? So we're going to call out our audience, call out audience. Uh, sometimes we have a call to action, so call to action. So telling people what to do is really important, especially uh, if you have really long copy, it'll cut off whatever is in uh, the actual ad. And then here we do features, or some of you might do benefits if you're in uh, dental space, or if you're working with gyms or things of that nature, you would do benefits here. And then we would do like at least three and then we would have another call to action. So that's typically what our outline looks like for real estate. Um, what this looks like practically is you say, hey, Dallas, um, or new listing in Dallas, or Frisco, I think we tar targeted Frisco, so you'd say new listing in Frisco. Your call to action would be tap on the photo below, for more picks, price, and location of this new listing. All right, features, benefits would obviously be of the home. Um, so beautiful two story home with huge backyard for the kids. All right, and you would just do the same thing on feature two and three. Your call to action would be the same call to action as that one. Um, and that is as simple as that. Your headline should call out the property. So beautiful two-story home in Frisco. And we usually like to say, learn more here. And that's, a, that's the ad, right? We can add emojis. I would highly suggest using Chrome and installing emoji stuff, I think it is, or emoji to go we create some of these emojis and add them to entice our copy. 
right? So if we add some of these, we can add that there. All right, just makes the ad a little bit more appealing. HubSpot did a study on emojis and found that ads that have emojis uh, always beat out ads that don't. So fun fact for you there. Um, creating a lead form. So lead generation campaign is essentially going to have a landing page within Facebook. So to be able to do that, I'm gonna use one that I've already done and edit it for you. So you'll obviously just wanna name this whatever your ad is. So ours was new listing in Frisco. I would name that whatever the address is. And then if you uh, want to get the most amount of leads possible, you click on more volume here. Um, if you wanted to make sure that you get correct information, I would choose this because it essentially that asks them, hey, is this the right information that, that you input in, is this your right name, is, your, is this your right email, is this your right phone number, things like that. So um, you can have an intro card which would look like this. It wouldn't have um, the name, email, phone number here. I usually don't even put that in there. I just go straight to the questions. So if they're interested in getting the price photos location of this listing, then they would have their name, email, phone number. Um, and then add your privacy policy, and then on the thank you page, you just say, hey, thanks, we'll send you more information. From there, you're done, just click on finish, and confirm that you like the ad. I'll just go over it one more time. Make sure that the everything is spelled correctly, you have the good, a good quality image, um, and that everything is correct here. And then all you do is click on confirm, and you have a live Facebook ad usually takes a couple hours for Facebook to review it and then it goes live. If you guys have any questions about this process, comment below. Happy to help. Uh, if you like this video and you want to see more videos like it, make sure that you subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below. That's it guys. If you have any questions again, throw them in the comments below. I'll see you in the next video.